hello students welcome to my youtube channel and uh, after a lot of request from the students that i have got i'm making this video uh, where we are going to learn uh, the calculations or finding the longitude okay or we also call it as meridian how to find the longitude so uh, I got a huge uh, support from the students in my previous video where I have done the calculation of uh, time okay so <clears throat> this video will be best on finding the uh, longitude okay I'm showing uh, I'm going to show you uh, uh, example also based on that uh, few th things that will be discussed and uh, before we start with the calculation few things that we need to uh, remember one thing is while calculating the longitude okay while calculating the long in the uh, time what we have learned is when we are going towards the east in the time while calculating the time what we have learned that when we go towards the east we have to add and when we are you know uh, coming to subtract isn't it so in the longitude also uh, it is almost similar but a little difference is there now that difference i am going to show you now in the longitude when we draw the longitude in the earth in the earth surface so let's say this is uh, zero degree the prime meridian okay so when we are moving towards the east again the value increases towards the east like one degree two degree three degree isn't it in that way it goes up to 180 degree and when we are drawing the uh, you know the western hemisphere or the western longitude that time also if you see when we are going backward when the value is increasing it goes up to 180 degree west isn't it so still it is increasing so in the time what we have seen that when to uh, was the uh, like moving towards the west isn't it moving towards the west we have to subtract but while doing the longitude while doing the longitude like if we are finding a backward still we have to add understood still we have to add okay now but when we come from west towards the prime meridian up during that time we might have to subtract and again from east when we are coming towards the prime meridian we have to subtract am i clear so this is how the longitude calculation calculations has to be done so here i'm going to show you an example okay so okay here's the example students find the longitude of a place a when the time in place a is 6 a.m okay somewhere in place b which is 60 degree east longitude it is 6 pm okay so the time frame has been given to us we have to find the longitude of place a so it is somewhere like this here it is <clears throat> uh, the time is 6 am we need to find the meridian somewhere it is sorry uh, 60 degree east and the time is 6 pm so now we need to do the calculation okay very simple calculation as we have done in the time so in the time we had to find the difference between the longitude here since time is given in order to find the longitude here the time is given okay so we need to find the difference between the time so here the first step what we do is difference in time okay so it is 6 pm uh, minus 6 a.m so the time difference is 12 hours okay now 12 hours even if you use common sense also it is morning 6 a.m and evening 6 p.m so definitely it is uh, 12 hours of time frame or the time difference is there okay but still you want to see the calculation is 6 6 p.m it has already crossed the 12 hours of time format so here what we need to do is 6 plus 12 it will be 18 hours isn't it it will be 18 hours now 6 a.m means it is 6 hours of time so if we do, uh, like subtract it we'll get is 12 hours so here the difference between 6 p.m and 6 a.m is 12 hours now what is the next step is we have to convert this hours into minutes so converting hours into minute is 
12 hours into 60 because while converting hours into minutes we have to multiply it by 60 so it will be 720 minutes okay now what is the next step what we have to do is we have to convert this minutes into degree now how we convert this minute into degree is by dividing it by 4 okay now why 4 again the question is because in the previous video also i have said that it takes the sun okay takes 4 minutes to travel from one degree to the another so the like you know uh, in order to complete uh, one rotation from in between the degrees okay sun takes four minutes of time so we have to convert this minutes into degree now while converting it into degree 720 divided by 4 so 720 divided by 4 is what we are getting is 180 degree so that means this place is 180 degree behind 180 degree behind 60 degree east okay 180 degree 6 means behind the uh, east so what we have to do is since we are moving backward we have to do subtract as i have said earlier also when we come from east towards the prime meridian we have to subtract and again from west if we are coming towards the prime meridian we have to subtract so here since we are moving backward we need to subtract okay so <clears throat> 180 degree minus 60 degree so how much you are getting is 120 degree so 120 degree will not be east because we will be crossing the prime meridian again if we are coming from 60 degree east towards the prime meridian that means we have to subtract 60 so what we are remaining uh, what we get uh, the remaining is 120 degree so 120 degree we have to move forward from prime, prime meridian towards the west so it will be 120 degree west so in 120 degree west it is 6 am okay and uh, when it is 6 pm in 60 degree east okay now whether this answer is correct or not that also you can verify it by yourself okay uh, since if you see here in order to you know cover one degree of distance sun takes four minutes of time so that means in order to cover 15 degree it takes 60 minutes of time isn't it it takes 60 minutes of time so since we are coming from 60 degree behind here see how to verify your answers 60 degree east so next over here 45 degree next over here it will be 30 degree here it will be 15 here it will be 0 prime area now from time up to increase by 15 degree okay 15 30 45 60 75 90 105 degree and 120 degree isn't it so our answer is 120 degree west now let us see the time so when it is 6 pm in 60 degree east okay answer what we have got is 120 degree west it will be 6 a.m. it is 6 a.m. so whether let's see uh, like verify whether it is correct or not so if it is 6 here it will be 5 okay here it will be 4 p.m. here it will be 3 here it will be 2 here it will be 1 isn't it here it will be 1 and here it will be 12 noon okay it will be 12 noon then in 45 degree west here it will be 11 here it will be 10 here it will be 9 here it will be 8 here it will be 7 and here it will be 
6 a.m. So that means the calculations which we have done, it is correct. Okay. So in 120 degree west, the time will be 6 a.m. when it is 6 p.m. in 60 degree east. Understood? So I hope uh, with this video, uh, you know, the calculation of the longitude also you have understood and uh, keep up the same support so that I will be more encouraged to make more videos on geography. Thank you students. See you in the next video.